How the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me by my friends. I mean my Instagram account and my ever growing army of demons. Today we are here at Madame Tussauds. Yes. You look so startled then. Yes. Uh, we are actually here for London Film and Comic Con, however, we thought we'd come a little bit early and experience the Chamber of Horrors. So if you're expecting this to be a vlog about all the celebrities and football stars and stuff like that, mm -hmm, that's not what it's going to be. We're going to drag out the Chamber of Horrors as much as possible and I can't wait. So join us, have the worst time in the best possible way. So I was just saying, um, there is the lift option. A lot of people are waiting for the lift. However, we like to get our steps in. So you can actually go up the stairs instead. Obviously, you'll need to use the lift uh, if you do have a wheelchair guest with you. So it means that the venue is wheelchair friendly. I know I said this wasn't gonna be your typical Madame Two Swords vlog, but can we just appreciate my first, well, not my first love, but one of my loves, Benedict Cumberbatch. What a guy. As you can see, it's really freaking busy. So my recommendation is don't come on a weekend. However, we are literally here to kill some time. They've definitely got some new ones since I last came. We've decided that the star section is too much for us, so we're going to go into Alien Escape instead. You know, because, oh, oh look at him. Like I said, if you're coming here for a standard Madame Two Swords vlog, they ain't gonna get it. Um, as you guys know, we're more of an alternative slice of life horror couple, so we're kind of gonna concentrate on that really. But this is awesome. Yeah, me too. So this is the first time I've come to uh, Madame Two Swords in 10 years. That's mental. Oh wow. Game over, man. Whoa. Nice. Babe, they've got a mini, um, I can't remember the name of them. Uh, Neomorph. Neomorph. You're more of the alien fanatic, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you do not want to bring your kids down here. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. It doesn't make sense because we're here for a comic. Nice. Oh my god, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Nice. That's it. And then we come back to the normal stuff. But, I mean, hang on a second. Holy hell! I was just saying to Gareth, we managed to get a decent photo up there because nobody really knows what it is. Uh, <laughs> so, it's been alternative. You can always go to the creepier sides of things and hardly anybody will want a photo. We've got Mr. Alfred Hitchcock over here. Very small, small boy, very small boy. Who we're really here for, Henry VIII and William Shakespeare. Oh my God, go on Queen Liz, go on my love. See, this is what you need to expect with the channel. Just all the uh, Renaissance stuff and horror stuff. This is the content I'm really here for. The Royal Corgi, we stand you. Here we go, the bit we're all here for. I hope you're excited. At least I think it's the bit you're here for. I don't know. Uh, it's the origins of Madame Oh, it's the origins, never mind. 
Sorry, I'm getting you excited for uh, the Chamber of Horrors before you need to be. Please stand by. We were just saying to Gareth, like, fortunately, I don't have to pay to get into Merlin attractions because of my job. So we've, we've skipped quite a lot just because that kind of stuff doesn't entertain us. Um, but if we had paid, we'd probably pay a bit more attention. So now this is the bit you've all been waiting for. I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, we thought it was the history. We got, we got segued. I do apologise. There's a heart beating. Oh, it's a lot less busier around here. Thank God for that. Oh, yes. Oh my god. So they've actually got different sections and items from live cases, prison wear. This suit belonged to John Hay, the acid bath murderer. Holy hell. Hmm? The TV? That's the actual TV that Dennis Nielsen watched with his victims. Whoa. We've got the guillotine as well. This is the actual blade. Sorry, the actual blade is held in the Madame Two Swords archives, too delicate to display. This is the actual blade that uh, beheaded Marie Antoinette. The notorious gangsters. I heard what you said. Oh. Well, the good here. It's a wrong way. Nice. So this is actually a live actor-led experience. Uh, there is no flash photography, but they do say you can take pictures, you can film, just be mindful. Uh, it's not for little ones ideally, just because there are potentially live John Christie. No, it's not animatronic, never mind. So if you want me to, I will talk about all of these killers afterwards, just because some of you might not know some of the more infamous UK, oh, UK English killers, serial killers. The acid bath murderer. Damn. Ooh. Well, this is a little bit cool, isn't it? I was just saying to Gareth earlier, find a girl that wants to have a selfie with things like this rather than Christine Aguilera and the uh, Royals. Oh. <laughs> HM Prison. <laughs> to the cells. See the names on it. So, 
Morris Star, Jack the Ripper. Yeah. H. Crippen. Yeah. Ruth Ellis. Yeah. Dennis Nelson. It's all happening down here, isn't it? So this is Dennis Nielsen, who David Tennant played. <laughs> okay. Got Ruth Ellis as well. Hanged for murder. Ruth Ellis, woman in England to be hanged. 1955. <laughs> the time of her execution. <laughs> We've got Dennis Nielsen over here. 17 bodies. The doctor who poisoned Paulie Harvey Crippen. Doctor Paulie Harvey Crippen, may Lord have mercy on your soul. Now we're going into the Jack the Ripper section. Being a strange one, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Pretty heads of the lead on a spike for all to see, made from their original death masks. Yeah. We're now going to do Spirit of London because we are children. But here are all your restrictions. I adore this ride so much. If you've been before, it's a little bit like the Haunted Mansion ride. Isn't the track system the same? It's the same, it's the same type of ride, but it was made, this one was made by the same people who made Gangster Grand. Oh, oh, ah. I see.
right now and we're in the Marvel section with a big hulk. So apparently they have got the 4D experience going on. However, we're not going to do it um, just because I'm not really a fan of getting stabbed in the back. We miss you! We miss you! We stand you, Clint Barton, even if nobody else will. Now we're going to do Star Wars whilst everybody else does the film. My God, they like the stairs in here, don't they? Ooh. Wasn't expecting a uh, workout today. All the Spanish Inquisition. You're welcome. Gareth's a massive fan of Monty Python, so... Uh... Ooh. Got to check. Yeah, it looks a little bit like you in. I'll allow it. What a guy. But here's the real question who shot first? Apparently, nobody. <laughs> Our favourite little green person. We just take most time to appreciate what a woman. We miss you, Carrie Fisher. And we have finished at Madame Two Swords. By we have, we finished about three hours ago, three, four hours ago. Four hours ago. <laughs> So, five hours actually. situation, um, obviously like I was saying in the vlog, I, I can get into Merlin Attractions for free based on the perks of my job. And we were just saying that, you know, it's, if, if, if I'd have paid, I probably would have spent a lot more time looking at the finesse of all of the waxworks. However, because I don't have to. I get a certain amount of tickets every year. Uh, please don't think that I just get in Merlin attractions free every single time. I have a certain amount of tickets I can use. And um, we just literally bolted through near enough the whole thing, apart from the Chamber of Horrors section, the Alien section, and the Marvel section. And the Star Wars section as well, more for you than for me. But yeah, it was the Chamber of Horrors was really, really freaking good. Like we really enjoyed it. It's nice to see that it's back. The last time I went, I was 16. I'm 26 now. Um, and they had the Chambers of Horrors, horrors then. And yeah, they brought it back. It's fantastic. The Jack the Ripper uh, waxwork is actually an animatronic and it's really, really cool. Um, seeing all the different serial killers as well. So seeing Christy in there, he's basically, it's not very nice what he did. So at his home, he would get unsuspecting women who wanted an abortion. He would gas them to make them go to sleep um and he would strangle them and do things with them so he used to basically put all his victims in like the floorboards in in the drain pipes and this that and the other and it was the smell that got people's attention but he he moved away and the police finally caught him there was a poor man that was hung 
because of him like he christy put the blame on this man and he hung for it he was pardoned um after christy was caught which isn't so great uh obviously had jack the ripper as well you have dennis dennis neil nielsen dennis nielsen i haven't really gone into dennis nielsen but i will do a bit of research but yes david tennant actually played dennis nielsen and he looks exactly like him which is terrifying so one of the artifacts in the exhibit was the tv that dennis nielsen used to have and that bit was amazing we really loved that bit it was so fascinating to see waxworks and um true to life um pieces of evidence in the same place it was really really cool but yeah we really enjoyed it we really enjoyed that bit and um, we really enjoyed the alien section king kong as well he was great um the marvel section and star wars and now we're getting ready for london film and comic con tomorrow aren't we mm. and we are in a very interesting hotel what's the hotel called abercorn house abercorn house this is the hotel. This is literally the room. Here's Gareth modelling the bed for you. It's... It's what we could get last minute. It's uh, Yeah, it's what we could get last minute. Um, also, the kitchen is communal and so is the shower. Um, the walls are paper thin so you can hear everything and people also live here. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I mean, um, we're leaving here at seven in the morning. Yeah, maybe we are. a little bit before. Yeah, exactly. Like we're gonna get up super early to come and queue up, uh, have some breakfast at Mackey's, and then get ready for the day. It's gonna be very exciting. I can't wait to kind of vlog it all. So I'm meeting David Tennant and Jamie Campbell Bauer. I'm having two photo ops with them, which is really exciting. We're also going to do autograph sessions with them, hopefully. We've heard news today that it's been really busy, really, really busy, but we shall see. Uh, it's it's going to make out to be a good vlog, I think, I hope anyway. Obviously, I'm not going to show you a lot of the, um, a lot of like the walk arounds of the convention because I've already done that before. If you want to check that out, I'll pop it up here. Uh, that's the first time we did London Film and Comic Con and I basically look around the vendors. We do an in-depth walk around like Gareth takes his GoPro around and does like uh, a complete walk around of the venue showing you what you can find. So I'd basically be showing you the same thing again. If there's any new stalls that we notice, we'll definitely put them up. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it's basically going to be more of the experience, um, how the convention goes, because a lot of issues have been happening with London Film and Comic Con and um, what are they called? Showmasters. Showmasters. So a lot of drama has been happening with Showmasters. So tomorrow is basically a, you've got one final chance. If it goes to hell, we're not doing it again. So we'll see, we'll see about that. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of Chamber of Horrors. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've been in there before, uh, if you're looking to go, very exciting stuff. But yes, I hope you've had a good day. If not, that's okay. Always remember, tomorrow's a new day. See you later guys, bye.